my eyes twitching so much today. Okay, I literally can't focus on what I'm saying. So today it's day 11 of 15 days of foundation. Days one through 10 are linked down below in a playlist. If you missed any, today is an interesting day. So today's video started out as a review on the Lottie London All About That Base Full Coverage Matte Foundation Stick. I'm gonna give you the quick rundown on this thing and what ended up happening, and then we'll go into today's actual video, which turned into this. So Lottie London is a new drugstore brand that's carried at Ulta. This retails for $8.99 and you get 0.31 ounces of product in here. This comes in 10 shades. I have lighter shade ivory. It's supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation stick. Effortlessly blends out. Seamless, undetectable, full coverage finish. I asked you guys on Snapchat what I should do about this as I was in the midst of filming because I put this on my face. You guys will see. I'm going to insert the footage. It looked freaking horrendous. One of the worst foundations I've ever put on my face to the point where I would never put this on again. I wouldn't recommend that you guys try it out. I think it's a pretty all over horrible foundation. So I ended up scrapping this thing, but I wanted to still include it in this video to show you guys what I think of it and to show you the application. So you guys will see me putting this on, my thoughts on this, and then I'm gonna go into the second foundation, which I ended up wearing today, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. This is new by Estee Lauder. So this is the replacement foundation for today. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear Original Foundation is kind of like their hero double wear product. They've come out with a few different foundations under this line. This one retails for $42 and you get one fluid ounce of product. There are 11 shades on Ulta's website. I have the lightest shade, which is 1C1 Cool Bone. It says real skin, flawless, 24 hour staying power, water light. It actually says 12 hour staying power on the box. Just a few hours difference there. It says this fluid long wear makeup feels like you have nothing on, moves comfortably with your skin, looks fresh, natural, healthy, even toned with SPF 30 and antioxidants. It's your invisible defense or my blah, blah, blah. Constantly hydrates, but it does say that it's oil controlling. So even though it's hydrating, one of their claims is that it is oil controlling. I have combination skin. I get oily throughout the day. I'm gonna start swatches here of Double Wear Nude in 1C1 compared to the other Double Wear products I have and also some other foundations, just so you can see how the shade compares. All right, we are gonna do some swatches. So right here's Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation in 1C1 Cool Bone. Next to it right here is the original Double Wear formula in the exact same shade, 1C1 Cool Bone. As you can see, there's quite a difference between these two 1C1 shades. And then this is the 1C0 shade in the original Double Wear, which you can only get on eBay if you're in the US. So next over is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid in the lightest shade Fair. Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 0.5, Dermacol 208, and Pure Cosmetics Bare It All in Porcelain. If you've been enjoying 15 Days of Foundation so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We only have four more days. Whoa. So if you want to see how it went with good old Lottie London Stick Foundation and then also the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, nude, and how it applies when wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, guys, it is 10.45. I woke up at 7 o'clock to start filming today. Day 11, man. Feels like day 11. I'm having one of those days where it's just hard to get going, hard to start filming. No bra, sleep shirt. I just got a triple shot and I feel like I literally took NyQuil. But we are putting foundation on my face today. Another stick foundation. For most stick foundations, I like to use the Sigma F82. I might try the sponge on the other side just to see. My eyebrows are horrendous right now. I'm trying to grow them out so I can wax them right before the trip. I've already washed, moisturized, primed my face. Let's go in on this side first. Feels a little bit stiff to blend out. That is not full coverage. Like I saw, I put a decent amount of product on there. It's almost like blending away. Okay, I dimmed the ring light a little bit, so hopefully you can see this. This is bizarre. When you blend it out, ooh, that is not looking good on my dryness up here. Ooh, that looks bad. Before I do this side, I'm gonna try and build this up and just see what it looks like. At this point, this is not something that I even wanna wear throughout the day. I'm gonna add some more and see if this is buildable. 
what the heck? Do you guys see this? It's like when you blend it out, it wipes away everything. And I'm not like blending or wiping, I'm just trying to stipple this in. Not only is this not covering anything on the second layer, it just is sitting on my skin very bizarre. Man, I don't think I've had a foundation look this shitty in a while. Mm, okay, let's try a damp sponge on the other side just to see. Maybe this just needs some moisture put into it, so we'll see if the sponge is better. So the finish looks slightly better with this sponge, but it's pretty much not covering anything. Okay, let's try and build it up, do a second layer with the sponge. The finish of this and the way it's sitting on my skin just looks horrible. Like coverage aside, just the finish of it, emphasizing everything, looks very dry. I wouldn't go outside in this if someone paid me. Is this one worth even wearing throughout the day? Because off the bat, I would never recommend this to you guys. I would never put this on my face again. This might be one of the worst foundations I've ever tried. I'm gonna go on Snapchat and see what you guys think I should do. If I should just take this off, film the intro and wrap this one up, or if I should attempt to wear it throughout the day, because I don't really know what to do right now. All right, so I asked you guys on Snapchat, SnapFam has spoken. What we're gonna do is totally scrap this one because there's no point. Why do you exist? I don't know. So what we're gonna do instead so that this isn't just a super short video and kind of like a cop out is test out a different foundation today. So I'm gonna do the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. So attempt number two, we're now starting this at 11.15. So I wiped that shit off my face, washed my face, moisturized, primed again. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush on one side of my face and then the Damp and Sponge why is my eyeball still twitching? I'm gonna shake. Ooh, sounds very watery. Let's get some of this out. Whoa, did you guys see that? This is like water. So in one of the other 15 Days of Foundation series, I don't, can't remember if it was the last one or the one before that, but I tested out the Estee Lauder Double Wear. The Double Wear foundation does not work for me at all. It looks so heavy, so cakey on my skin, does not give me full coverage. I know it looks amazing on some people. It's just one of those products that for whatever reason on my skin doesn't work. So this one says real skin finish, it's supposed to be more like lightweight, move with your skin, moisture complex. So I like that. I like those claims. So I'm just going to go in with the brush first on this side of my face. I don't think this is going to be super high coverage. Ooh, the shade is nice. The shade is definitely different than the 1C1 in the double wear. Oh, I really like the shade of this. Right now it's looking like medium coverage. You can still see my acne and stuff coming through. I'm not expecting this one to be full coverage. Sitting on the skin, really nice. Looks really pretty and just kind of like moisturizing and luminous. True test is always how foundation looks on my forehead, especially right in the center. And this one looks really pretty. It's not clinging to anything up here, like Lottie. And right on the center, it looks pretty good. It looks moisturized. Let's try the other side with the sponge. I'm curious how this is gonna go since this is so liquidy. Hoping the sponge doesn't just absorb all this up. Maybe a little bit lighter coverage than the brush side, but not by much. I like the finish on both. The sponge might look a little bit smoother. I do you want to see if I can build this one up since on its own right now, it's not quite enough coverage for me. I feel like I'm using a lot of product, especially because this is so liquidy and it's like running down the side here. I'm gonna use a sponge to see if this builds. The way that this is sitting on my skin right now, I like five billion times better than the original Double Wear. It really does look very natural skin-like. I'm gonna try the brush on the other side actually to see if it builds better with the brush. Okay, I am getting better coverage with the brush. I can tell off the bat, I definitely would need to set my face with this one just because of how luminous and moisturizing it is right now since I have oily skin. Yeah, gonna need to set my face. Ooh, that looks good on my forehead. Looks super smooth and almost like plumping, which I love. I think we're at solid medium coverage with those kind of two layers. It doesn't look cakey at all. It looks very thin, still feels pretty lightweight too. But since it didn't add a whole lot more coverage on the second layer, I think next time what I would do is put on just one layer of this and then spot conceal just to cover up my acne and stuff. I am gonna powder my face with this one. I'm thinking I wanna use my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten just because I, st I love the luminosity of this, but I need to set my face. Yeah, this definitely feels like 
one of those foundations that you need to set. Feels very sticky tacky. Right now it is 11.23. It's probably time to change out of my sleep shirt. Do I have to? I will be right back. Okay, I did it. I'm a real human being. Changed out of my pajamas. So it's now almost 12 o'clock. We're gonna call the check-in time 11.30 since that's when I finished up with my face. So I did set my face, like I said, with the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Powder, and it looks great. I was kind of hesitant to put this on my forehead because I love the way my forehead looks. It looked super nice and moisturized and just plump and healthy. When I put the powder on, it did take that away a little bit, but it still looks really nice and glowy. You can see the glow still kind of coming through from underneath. The finish just looks beautiful. I could almost see this being one of those foundations that I wear when I'm not wearing any other makeup just to kind of even out my skin tone a bit, or if you just don't have a lot to cover up and you like more light to medium coverage. Right now, it's looking freaking beautiful. I also love the shade of it. The shade of this is definitely different. You guys will have already seen swatches, but 1C1 in the double wear does not look like this. This one to me looks a bit more pink toned. I think the shade is really flattering. So we'll see how this holds up, but it says it's supposed to last 12 hours, right? Yeah, 12 hour wear. So on the rest of my face, I use the LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. I went in with that shade. I also use this on my eyes. Blush, I really like this. I tried out this blush again. This is by H&M. I have an older video testing out H&M makeup, but this is in the shade Cantaloupe, and this is a really pretty, like, natural peachy pink kind of color. This highlight, I tried out for the first time. I've heard so much about these. This is the Artist Couture. What shade is this? Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati, and I thought this was going to be too gold on my skin tone, but as a face highlight, it is beautiful. You just kind of have to tap off the brush and get rid of some of the glitter. And then I wet my brush and went in with this as eyeshadow. So that's like the gold shadow that's on my lid right now, which is obviously very pretty, I think. My eyeshadow looks wonky. I can never tell on like the viewfinder and in the mirror until I'm editing back this footage because of the lashes. It's really freaking hard to do eyeshadow with lash extensions. And then for lips, I use the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in 107. And I topped it off with ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Little Stitches. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, this is a new angle, but I feel like right now this has the best lighting. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. My phone is plugged in because it's like about to die. So foundation's been on for four hours and I think it's looking really nice everywhere except right around my nose. It seems to be kind of settling in right there, but my forehead looks really nice. It just looks very fresh and like glowy to me and it feels lightweight. So clearly I'm pretty dewy right now. I don't feel like I look too oily, like I like this amount of dew, but as you can see around my nose right here, it's not looking too hot. Ignore my eyebrows, but I think my forehead looks pretty good. It's still settling a little bit into my line right there but the center of my forehead looks nice very glowy so if you don't like dewy or glowy you wouldn't like this i personally like that i feel like it hides my texture a bit more so see you guys at the end of the night and we'll try and keep this on for my usual 10 hours see you in a few okay so it's now 10 10 i've been laying down and i was like about to fall asleep my alarm went off so it's actually a lot less oily than i was anticipating just because of how dewy i've been all day so i'm pleasantly surprised this light does like bounce back a little bit so it's shine you're seeing like when I go like that. It's been on for almost 11 hours. Did I say that? My forehead looks pretty good. I'm getting a little bit of separation right there, but I've definitely seen worse. The rest of my face, the rest of my face looks pretty good. It looks like it has rubbed off a little bit right here where I was kind of resting my head. It looks like it's oxidized a tiny bit. This one has worn a lot better than I was anticipating. Love how moisturizing and just glowy and beautiful it makes your skin look if you have more dry skin and you like medium coverage you probably love this once my acne issues get solved after accutane i can see myself using something light coverage like this because it does look really pretty on the skin so started off on a bad note with lottie why am i even attempting to fix my hair right now but this one pleasantly surprised me so i'm excited to mix this in try it different ways and see what i think i also just want to try it with like spot concealer one layer and then spot concealer but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am so tired right now. I feel like I fall asleep right now. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.